about to crack this thing open and get a better look at it. So we had to cut the tape on the back side all the way around. We're gonna lay this flat, pull that cardboard up, just like it shows here on the side. Alright, we got it laid flat. This top just came right up. Got some foam on the inside there. Here's this big old can. They have very Apple-esque packaging. It's got a pretty strong handle here to pull the can up right. This whole cardboard backing here. Your mounting bracket, power cord, little tool to open. Uh, uh, probably not sure on that yet. There's the keys. Let's get this open. Uh, let's see if we can do this one handed. The doors open 90 degrees. That should pull right up. Got a nice spot in here be best to probably use P-Touch label to make your notations, but you could always sharpie it on there. Operations. Here's where all the magic is. Unlike the four-door controllers, these are not removable modules. However, you can pull these little Molex connectors out, put your wires in there, and then plug it back in. Down here you've got your power converter. sides and then uh, metal or probably plastic right here. And this is the mounting bracket here that you would mount to the wall. Hang the can on here and then the can has four holes that you would further secure the can to the wall. We just want to see from hole to hole. 16 inches on center and the bracket itself is about 18 inches wide and then on the back side of the can here the can is about 19 inches wide and these holes are 16 inches on center and here's the groove that cabinet will sit on that mounting plate. Good looking product.